Okay, now that we have that 2x4 base created, or the short one created, we want to make a pattern here. So to do that, I'm under the assembly tools, and I'm just going to go ahead and go to pattern. And it is to repeat, is that, what type of pattern do I want? Well, I'm going to click on my plus sign here and do a linear pattern. Now, I'd like my start point for my linear pattern to be right there. Okay? And now, how long do we want to make this pattern? You can see you can dynamically change it. Well, I would like it to go all the way the length of this board, but I don't know what that length is because, again, it was extruded from here to that face. No problem. What we can do here is say that I would like to get a distance parameter or make a distance parameter. For example, this could be a parameter that I'm going to reuse in the future, or I can just do a measured value. If I do a measured value and I just select this edge, that dynamically gives me the length of that board. Now the only thing I need to do is say minus 1.5, I believe. And now we want to have a total of 3. We can say OK. We can say OK. And now we have our pattern. Okay. Now there's a problem with that, though. If I go that route, and I go and, for example, change the overall length of this, maybe I want it to be 80 inches. You see, my pattern didn't update, did it? And that's because I just did a dynamic measure. Instead, I would like to create a dynamic link here. Okay? And both methods are good. It just depends on what your design intent is. So let's go back and fix this. I'm going to go back and edit the pattern. Okay? And now for my length, I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to go ahead and ask for a distance parameter. My distance parameter is going to be called D1. Why not? And it's going to be measured from a plane to a plane. So my first geometry is going to be from this plane. My second geometry is going to be from to this plane. Okay? We'll say okay. I'm going to say minus the thickness of my board, which I could have had as another parameter, by the way. And now we're good. And now, if I go and modify that original board and I make it back from 80 to 64 and 3 16 when we go back in, the assembly is going to automatically update correctly.